Hey yo, what's up? I'm the leftist hipster cousin of the real Medvine. God, I gotta go. To, he had to go to some vacation, man. And I want to talk about how much I love democracy. Okay, I love democracy so much. And can we can we just clap? Like shout outs to democracy, man. Like where will we be without democracy? I mean, world history didn't even exist before democracy, dude. It's like, like the Greeks, they made like democracy, but they were like misogynist and they hated women. They totally didn't have good reasons why women shouldn't vote. They had really bad reasons, like, like Aristotle saying women are like, no, nah, I'm not going to say that. It's just, it's just too misogynist. But like, and then we had like history of like, I don't know, like some kings and stuff doing some like wars, like that kind of stuff. And now we have democracy and everyone's so enlightened, right? Everyone's so enlightened. Everyone is so amazing. Without democracy, we won't have old boomers debating about stupid shit. We need that, okay? We, we need that. We seriously need that. That's the most important thing that you can have. We won't have a bunch of teenagers on TikTok talking about environmental issues. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's, she's a TikToker. She's teenage, underage, and she's hot. Bro, I bet she has very delightfully delicious political takes that i'm ready to just listen to yeah i'm def she's definitely very interesting greta thunberg she's probably a very small teenager with down syndrome i would really like to listen to her talk about political theory right we definitely she definitely needs to vote okay she definitely needs to vote she needs to vote just as much as the successful businessman that has changed millions of people's lives millions now thousands of people's lives by employing them yeah he, she needs to have just as much as influence as that guy because like she's like you know she's like a genius bro she's like a teenager blowing my mind talking about how important it's to concern the environment and all of these companies and like people are like producing trash we won't have that without democracy it's just it's just it's just like what like what do you want like we shouldn't let we shouldn't let people like her have a voice what are you bigot right but I guess there are some things about democracy that are just not that cool. Okay, so one of those things is that usually it used to be the case that, you know, there used to be considered, and re it really is, that politics is a very difficult thing. It's a very difficult thing to comprehend. It's not something you can really simplify. It has a lot of uh, deep undertones within it. A, a little modification in a certain policy can change the entire country. It's just what it is, right? And we need people that actually know what they're doing to lead the country. Not garbage disposal men who listen to some politician talk about stuff. That half of the stuff they talk about, they don't even understand, right? It's difficult stuff. It's, it's hard to understand sometimes, right? And people that did that, you know, it was a difficult job. There used to be a specific class of people who did that, Right? And they usually did a good job, and they had their benefits. Now, everyone's supposed to be doing that. Everyone's supposed oh, you don't know what's happening between the America and Iran or, like, Syria or whatever? What are you, a dumb? What are you, stupid? You're living under a rock or something? Uh, have you checked news recently? Oh, did you see what that new celebrity said about the injections? Hmm? Yeah, you needed to know about what her opinion was. Yeah, you wouldn't know about her, would you? You're just some guy living under a rock. We really need to listen to the opinions of some hip-hop artists shaking their ass. Their opinion is very valuable, right? Or haven't you heard what this one guy said? Like, he said some really bad stuff that I totally don't agree. And I'm really mad that people have opinions like this because it's hurtful. And all, all, all this similar stuff. Politics used to be, you know, serious stuff. And now you don't have any benefits, right? You used to have the benefit of, I don't know, um, you could live in a mansion, right? You had a militia and stuff because, you know, the stuff you're doing is very important. You need to be an expert at it. Otherwise, if you're just some fool, the country's going to go down in shambles, man. It's just going to get destroyed. And now everyone's supposed to do it, but no one gets the benefits. No one reaps the benefits. Okay, so I guess that sucks. But you know what else sucks? 
not having these guns. But aside from that, it is the fact that democracy is a system that is designed. Nice car. That is designed for failure. That's why it's so successful, because it is supposed to fail. Okay? And it's supposed to exist while it's failing. Right? Usually when states fail, they just disintegrate, they don't exist anymore. They get conquered by people. But once you have a new paradigm, an international paradigm, when conquest is not done by taking land, because nowadays, I mean, think, think for yourself, why would you want land, right? So that your people can be more prosperous. Well, when people can travel anywhere they want, who gives a shit, right? It it's, doesn't take a genius to figure out that once you have like open borders in Europe, like if you're Germany or like if you're a German, think of it this way, if you're a German, why would you want Poland, for example, right? Well, I want access to Polish resources. But if your citizens can freely travel to Poland, then why would you need to conquer Poland? You, your people can just go there and just work there, make money there. Maybe they might open a trading company there. And then just funnel it back in. Or maybe they don't even need to do that anymore. Right? They themselves will do it for you. Okay? So conquest has changed. But democracy, this the conquest has changed. And this leads uh, to the fact that states can dissolve and become, become destroyed while still existing. That's the point that I'm making. And this is incredibly dangerous because it makes you think that, oh, just because, oh, the United States still exists, right? That means it's still successful. Well, then, or, or any other country, any other modern state. Well, not necessarily, okay? If you only define a nation's survival as, oh, you know, a nation surviving when, like, it just exists and it's somewhere on the map, well, then we can say that the Byzantine Empire, right, or the Roman Empire, let's say, Oh, it, it only failed after 1453. No, its failure started way before that. States can have, can be in states of failure way before then, way before they just completely get destroyed. But now we are in a state. Think of like the Roman Empire only having Constantinople, and that's the state that they're in. So everyone's, everyone's poor, everyone's miserable, everyone hates their lives. They just feel like something bad's going to happen and destroy them every single day. Well, that's what the democracy seems to achieve. Everyone is depressed. Everyone thinks like the world is going to end the next day. Everyone is in anxiety that they might lose their job. They might lose hope. But they are still, you know, existing. We're still, we're still there. Okay, we're still there. And if you try to do something funny, you know, we might even lose that little bit of something that we love to have. Okay. And when you're in that state, you become prime targets to be sucked, okay? To be freaking sucked. Your entire life force, your entire productivity, your entire will to live, your entire individuality is just sucked and taken away. And it's a process that is ongoing. Examples of this will be, uh, for example, if you achieve this kind of a state, you can dissolve other forms of government making. And when I say government making, I'm talking about like making a society, okay? Because society is made in stages where the smallest unit of it is the family. If you dissolve the units, like nation, culture, remember? Those are also being dissolved. Family, if you dissolve all of that kind of stuff, what are you going to have? The, the little individual. But individuals exist in relation to other individuals right so being is in relation to other beings in the sense of creation i will say in fact i i, I will say political philosophy kind of modern political philosophy kind of takes that route and i don't see and i don't see how you can take that route as individuals being defined by um they're defined by their relations and then then still say individualism is the right way to go well seems like you're a contradicting idiot there but you know i'm not the cool philosophy guy that has destroyed civilization so what will i know right but it is still the case that once you kind of atomize individual 
you can take you can it's easy to just take over them i mean divide and conquer everyone you know i don't want to say things that are like too cliche everyone just knows these like everyone uses these words but they don't really understand what they mean okay divide and conquer man it's like oh so how do we not become divided or like like uh, try to compromise your beliefs with other people no that's not how you avoid being divided and conquer. in fact that's how you become divided in the first place compromise 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 to the point where you don't have any unity there's no source or foundation for unity you just become you know you just totally become totally dependent and you lose all autonomy and when you lose your power of becoming autonomous you will take that from or the, you will be given that from the state from the government from the democracy that we all so much love. what are you going to do about it you're going to vote the people causing this oh good luck you're just going to get another one right or oh i'll just wait for a for a international crisis regarding my government and then we're going to get good people right we're going to get good leaders yeah yeah that's totally going to work or maybe i don't know um it will be blamed on the president and then in the next election they'll have another president and he'll be like i'm totally against the previous president by the way like you can't blame me for stuff he did i don't like that guy and he does the same thing and you get another president and he does the same thing it's over and over and over again i mean america is basically like this europe is basically like this europe is even worse than that i mean europe is just a total freak show with, with democracy at least america has like some kind of trying to return to normal but it's still it's still not working right it's still not working because dem democracy is supposed to not work and that's why it works and people don't get this people still think that oh if i make tiktoks if i make if i make comments on youtube i'm gonna make i'm gonna make this really smart intelligent comment on youtube dude and i'm gonna change millions of people's lives and i'm gonna get 500 likes oh. You're doing nothing. You're wasting your time. You're wasting my time. Hey, guess what? If I wanted to read a paragraph, if I wanted to read a long paragraph, here's what I will do. I will go read a book from a smart person. I will listen to some random retard on YouTube. Okay? In fact, you shouldn't even really be listening to me. I'm just some random retard on YouTube too. But I guess I guess I might be worth more than most people. I don't know. But the point that I'm getting at is everything... This is kind of the crux of what I'm getting at. Everything is a waste of time. Everything that has become serious is just a waste of time. It's just, an, it's just a play. Okay? It is just something to occupy your mind and spend your energy on. And nothing changes. The only thing that changes is how much you hate yourself. Right? And so, I noticed this massive trend. Okay? This massive trend of people that get into politics... And they, 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 they fuel their own hate porn. They fuel their hate. They, they want to feel hate against somebody. They want to feel energized. And they do so by looking at, oh, look at this liberal and look at the stupid stuff he says. Oh, just look, guys, please look at him. You, got, you guys have to see it. You guys have to see it. It's, it's crazy. It's insane, right? And why will I waste my time with that? Oh, wow. This guy said, I don't know. There are more than two genders. Wow. I don't care. <laughs> oh, they're going to change the world by doing it. Yeah, like, if they want to do it, and when I say they, I'm talking about the elites, you know, the people that actually rule the world, if they want to do it, go easy to do it today. I mean, that's just the fact. That's just the fact of the matter. What is, that, what is it that they want to do that they fail to do, right? People got locked inside their own house by their own will just because the big because the media said so oh the experts the experts said that you need to be cucked inside your own house for 14 months to, to flatten the curve right and people listen to that you think people it's a door in the it's a hand on the door technique or hand in the doorway technique i don't know what to call it but it's like once you get someone to do something for you already getting that someone to do even more is easier. It's a marketing technique and it applies really to a lot of different things. If you got people to stay in lockdown for 14 months, you can get people to say, 
oh, even if the injection is gonna kill me, I'd still love to get killed. I wouldn't want to live with the people who didn't want to get the injection. Uh, like, you literally have people unironically saying that. Right? I mean, I don't even want to think about it because it makes me depressed thinking about people. There are people that actually exist like, like that. Like, seriously. And I bet those are the people that are probably saying, oh, people like David, people whose beliefs are like mine, like me or your beliefs, Oh, those people are saying, they're probably saying the same thing, okay? But because, but just because we're saying the same thing doesn't make both, both of what we're saying valid, right? One is a bumbling retard and one is some random dude, right? And and why will I waste time caring what he, again, if these people want to do something crazy that's going to change your life, they're going to do it anyway, right? You can be in the know. Right, look at the news, look at what people are saying on social media. Notice the narratives that are being formed. You can notice that and say, okay, so this is what they're going to try to do next. Okay, so they're going to do pedophilia next. Now, pedophilia is going to be normalized in a couple of years. Okay, so that's what they're going to do. And you might, you, you're might you going to point it out so that more people can say, ah, oh, ha, ha, look at this idiot. He thinks pedophilia is going to be normalized. And five years later, when it becomes normalized, they're going to be like, dang, that guy was right. It's the same thing that's happening with a certain individual named Alexander who YouTube doesn't like um, it's the same phenomenon right people made fun of him now they're saying wow everything he's saying actually is coming out true that's like the best you can do right that's kind of the best you can do honestly in my opinion um, but you're not going to change people's lives by commenting on their wall writing a paragraph Okay, you're not really going to change people's lives that way. And the amount of influence you have on people is not as much as you'd like to think. And that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. It's not a good thing to become depressed. It's not a good thing to waste time um, looking into inconsequential. I know I kind of sound like a stoic guy, but unlike the stoic dudes, I don't, I don't actually think that you should feel fine if your you know, wife cucks you. I'm not, I'm not telling you... I'm not telling you to go that far, right? Personal affairs are things you have to get very serious about. And if political stuff is going to like inch, like get in the way of that, you have all the right to be furious about it. Like the injection passports, okay? Like the passport BS. That's a very serious thing to get energized. That's an actual serious thing to get energized about. It's not taxes, right? It's not what are we going to do in the Middle East? It's not any of that. It's going to be those passwords. Those pa th that thing is actually very serious. Okay? But what some celebrity said, that's, that's no one cares about that. Okay? Why would, you, why would you get mad at that? Okay? Oh, this guy cut his dick off. Wow. I bet he's going to kill himself in five years. Like, what do you want to, like, you want to, you want to, you want to think about that? Like, you want to be like, oh, I'm so sad. This guy's going to kill himself. And I'm going to, I'm going to spend every, like my, I'm going to lose my sleep over this guy killing himself five years. Or you can, you can say, you know, that's just what the state of society is. Pray for him and just live your life. Right. That's basically what I'm trying to say. I had a, I have a friend or an acquaintance or whatever you want to call him who like said that he got he's getting really depressed he's getting very sad very depressed very hopeless that oh he's not as strong as i am but i'm kidding i'm not that i'm not that strong but he was getting he was getting in despair because oh man like people are going crazy and all that kind of stuff and i just said you know dude like who cares like that's what they are doing, okay? You don't need to care what they're doing. You don't need to look at what stupid people are doing to feel good about yourself. You just need to improve yourself and be a better man. Be the better man. Become stronger so that when shit hits the fan, you can survive the wind, right? That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's why my channel, although my last couple of videos haven't really been much about theology, next video will be, um, is a, it's because it's something that's really matters. Because this is about, like, the stuff I'm talking about is about, like, eternal salvation stuff. You know, kind of serious. 
you know, like having eternal salvation is kind of a serious job. It's a, it's a very serious thing to have. Um, <clears throat> and not like, oh, look who he said what, what he did, blah, blah, blah. Or like, oh, this YouTube celeb said this. Wow, I don't care. He's a, he's a bundle of sticks. Who cares what he says? Right. Oh, he has a. Oh, this this guy said this about orthodoxy. Just look at his freaking wall. <clears throat> Show a bunch of Funko Pops and uh, super and uh, Superman um, posters and stuff. Who will listen to that? Like, I don't want people who will listen to someone like that. Right. We don't want people like that. We want people that actually care seriously about important topics, and that actually want to change. The world for good and they they want to change the world for good by doing something that actually matters not doing something just to make themselves more popular and become personalities so i was burping i wasn't getting sad or crying um or anything like that but that's just stuff that i was thinking of and i don't know maybe everything i said is just made up right maybe i just maybe i do believe pop democracy now that i think about it Democracy might sound very cool, right, guys? It sounds like a very, very good political system. So, if you think democracy is great, like this video. If you think democracy sucks, still like this video. And do subscribe to my channel. And comment about stuff that I'm not going to read about. I hope you guys feel very important about yourself. I'm just kidding. I, I don't want to be that mean. But... <laughs> Um, I don't know. It's just stuff that I, I taught and also I wanted to fill the quota. Don't mean to be disrespectful. It's just <clears throat> something I had to get out of my chest. But maybe maybe this was good. Maybe this kind of stuff is important. Who knows? Maybe rants are what we need, right? But if you thought this was a nice video, do subscribe. We're going to see more stuff, more beautiful stuff. I'll see all of you next video. And live streams will be coming soon. Next week. Okay? Thank you for watching. See you guys next video. May God be with you all. Bless you all.